many people as me. Anyways, I had like a disappointment. They said so that's sort of the reason why I didn't post anything on my live journal and on my Twitter, you know, page. So, as I said before in a lot of these kind of blogs about a couple of days ago, it's like, probably passes, so what, you know, you can get that sort of thing overturned, you know. And I think as far as those people who said, like, the majority has spoken, move on, forget about it. Well, let's just say that about 40 years ago, when blacks were fighting for their rights, or the same thing 80, 80 or 90 years ago, when it was women who were fighting for their rights, It kind of sickens me that one guy who was on the news the other day, who was a black leader who said to the gay community to suck it up, you know, and then someone prior, some ignorant right folk probably told him or his dad that back in the 50s to suck it up and had racist and bigs or something. I guess a lot of those people that's just kind of hypocritical. Here they were fighting for their rights just to deny another group of rights. It's like that whole story that what my mom kind of told me about do unto us to do, do unto you, you know? And there was a perfect example like that in, La in Laguna Beach where there was the whole Laguna Beach Arts Festival. They denied certain people's work for some silly little reasons and stuff like that because they were like too controversial or or were artsy enough or whatever. And then across the street from them on PCH or was it on Laguna Canyon Road? There was uh, the Sawdust Festival. And the Sawdust Festival basically accepted all these different works that were basically were rejected by the Gloomy Beach Arts Festival. And then here, what my mom says, how hypocritical the, the Sawdust Festival has become. They were doing the very same thing as what their predecessor had done before. The nine certain people's artworks to be published and be dis be put on display simply because they weren't artsy enough or weren't avant-garde enough or what are the silly reasons they may be. I guess a lot of people just don't really follow what Jesus says. Love that name as their own self. And then not only that, they don't really seem to quite understand the 14th Amendment as far as under, under Article 1, where no person shall be denied of any rights and privileges of the United States, and shouldn't be denied of any of the equal protections of the laws. There is this picture on some newspaper or somewhere where these two guys to see this excerpt of the 14th Amendment and they go dismiss it as being the gay agenda. That isn't really the gay agenda. That's really the 14th Amendment in the Constitution. And that's basically what's going to happen in about a couple of years once Prop 8 gets challenged and overturned and if it basically gets head up to the Supreme Court. Since one of the justices like Stevens or Kennedy might retire, or whichever one that might retire first, you know, and then since Obama won, he has to fill those seats in the fact that we have a Democratic majority in both houses. So basically, there's a silver lining to. 
purposes you need passion as far as that goes. This is just basically shedding the whole person to getting gay marriage legalized once and for all, and then they'll be the ones having to shuck it up. You know? So, anyways, I guess that's it.